Oh, yes. Uh, the spiritual teacher of the United States of America is so right. But in other ways, for me, it's the devil in human beings who have this power to sell themselves as spiritual teachers to you so you would follow them. You don't have your own spiritual teacher to guide you? So where are you now, Americans? Where's your freedom? Your freedom is in these deceptive devils who are using human resources to enslave you people by all this rhetoric and uh, misusing, manipulation, exploitation of spirituality without religion. How stupid you have been made of. What a fool, you people. Oh, it is so very utterly disgusting. <clears throat> you are doing a course in miracles. Marion Williamson has written this book on the course of miracles. We are here having miracles left, right, and center without doing any courses, just believing religiously. So I was wondering last night how wicked, how powerfully, devilishly wicked these human beings of the United States of America and other countries can be, or things, not places or nations. Uh, the United States of America is a dirty thing. So wicked. Read the book how you, you sold your souls to, for uh, the Saudi crude oil. Sleeping with the enemy. How Washington and every American sold their souls for this crude oil. Read literature. Read Villette. Man as weak as you are. Reading these perverted spiritualists of the United States of America who are undermining belief system. Where are you free and godly? You are nowhere right now near to freedom or godliness. You will be ever so grateful to the devil's writing books and becoming bestsellers in your thing. Not a nation at all. It's boiled down to a dirty thing, the United States of America. God is going to come and cut you into pieces. Someone should slap you, people, and wake you up, give you a great danda, baton. You liars going to Iraq and saying that it has nukes. Now you must get it from North Korea. Leave my Iraqis, Arab women, alone. Leave my sacred pilgrimages, places, alone. Taking your filthy bums. There, no way. If I could, I would stand there with such tanks and nukes. If we had, I would have taken it and stood there and kept you away from my children in Iraq, from my women folk in Iraq, 
from my men in Iraq. You are a culture of uh, sexual assault. You shouldn't come near my women at all or even my children. I should make it sure you stop. Sorry, I should make sure that you, I stop.